Well, hello there, club industry friends. It's Casey Conrad. And as a follow up to the town hall meeting that we had last week on uh, Thursday regarding the coronavirus, I'm going to answer some of the questions that were mailed in. Um, first of all, what has caught me most off guard about the situation and what have you done to tackle the challenge? I think uh, first and foremost, the speed at which this all happened. Uh, certainly, uh, we had been watching what was going on in China and, you know, in a world where, you know, we're so interrelated, um, the fact that with just so such speed, this hit us and then with such swiftness, it came to closing doors. And I really don't think anyone was prepared for that, even though we saw, you know, the lockdown in China um, and then even, you know, Italy. Now, when it first started in Italy, I think that it was, uh, you know, becoming apparent that uh, shows and things and when Google started canceling things, I think, you know, the bells and whistles started to go off and that's when you started to see the, uh, the markets decline. But I think the speed at which it happened probably is what caught me most off guard. And, uh, you know, what have I done to tackle the challenge? I mean, uh, first and foremost, I have tried to engage myself in forums like this, talk to clients, um, you know, come up with strategies that can help them to cope with this unprecedented times. Um, I know for me, uh, I had a lot of my business already online. So from that perspective, uh, it probably wasn't quite as devastating uh, for me personally, thankfully, um, but certainly it, this will change everything as, as we know it. Um, how would I navigate marketing during this time? Um, you know, I, I've said it before, I'll say it again. Uh, I think the most important thing that you need to do right now is reputation management. What are you doing to help your community, not just your members, but your community. You know, are you posting inspirational things? Are you posting, uh, you know, workout things? Are you, you know, what's going on? These kids need uh, activities. Are you giving the parents assistance with this? Are you doing at-home cooking demonstrations? The reality is, folks, is that this is a time that we can use to shout from our platform the need to be healthy. The reality is, is that if you are healthy, you are at a very low risk. But if you have, uh, of course, aging, that's nothing you can do about that. But if you have a metabolic disorder, obesity, diabetes, elevated blood pressure, et cetera, et cetera, all of these put you into a higher risk category. So I think that this is a great opportunity not to shove it in somebody's face, but to say, hey, you know what? If you're worried about this and you're between the ages of 18 and say 60, 65, let's get your health in order. Uh, while you're at home, imagine what you can do. Instead of eating junk over the next two weeks, how about exercising? How about eating better? How about mindfulness, meditation, spending time with the family, grow a garden, you know, a little windowsill garden with um, herbs and things. So there's a lot of things that I would be doing from a marketing perspective. Building your base of people whom you have helped that you can then go back to and get into a funnel so that when we come out of this, they go, hey, you know what? That gym really helped me get through this time and didn't ask me for a dime. I'm gonna go check them out now. So I think that that's the opportunity. Um, how do we keep trying to sell memberships during this time? I don't think you can keep trying to sell memberships during this time. I think that if you have an online platform, you know, if you have online coaching um, or online training or something like that, you might be able to plug into that. But the reality is, is that if you don't have something that is of high level of value right now, uh, people are not going to you know, say, hey, let me buy a membership to your gym when I don't even know if you're gonna open your doors or when you might open your doors. So I don't think that is a particularly a high level 
uh, question right now. I think what you're trying to do is save cancellations, okay? And training your staff how to do that when somebody calls in. Um, the need to continue marketing, to spend on positive messaging and how to stay healthy. Um, you know, can this be cost effective and done organically? Absolutely it can be. You know, the reality is, is that Facebook is free. YouTube is free. Uh, look at all the things that we're sharing. I, I know I'm forwarding funny videos to people because we need humor through this particular time. Uh, so I think that there is certainly a way that you can tap into that absolutely uh, for free. And how long do I think uh, the fitness facilities are gonna stay closed? I really think that this is a geographic thing. I think that right now everybody is in lockdown um, as a, for the most part. I know that a couple of the states that were behind others this weekend uh, finally mandated a close. Uh, but I think it is going to be geographic. I think you're going to see places like New York, California, uh, Illinois, um, Washington State, particularly in areas where there are high densities of people, are going to stay closed for a month. I really do, minimum of that amount of time. But I don't believe that um, that we will be forced to stay close across the board, I think we're going to have to look at how can we minimize the exposures, but allow businesses to come back in and function. So anyway, uh, those were the follow up questions that I had. Uh, what are my final thoughts to you? Um, the reality is, is that uh, this is a bad situation. Uh, it's a horrible situation that everybody is in and that's the good news. Uh, you know, the good news is that it, no business really is spared right now. And so, um, you know, be positive, uh, be creative, work with your fellow colleagues. You know, you've got other businesses uh, that are uh, and friends in the same industry. Get together, mastermind, you know, stay on top of things. How can you come out of this stronger? How can you come out of this uh, having served your community uh, and at the end of the day, knowing that keeping your family, keeping your friends healthy through this is really the single most important thing uh, because although we will have businesses that will close, the reality is, is that this, we will get through this. Um, we can redo businesses, we can redo leases, we can redo all of those things, but we can't redo a lost life. So um, I'm staying positive, I'm staying healthy, and um, I'm continuing to try to serve uh, my community. So um, let's all stay in touch, and uh, I hope you found this useful.